in this lecture we are going to talk about the measurement of total body water using the indicator dilution method now in our last lecture we discussed the indicator dilution method for measuring of fluid volume now in that lecture we simply discussed that how this indicator dilution method can be used to measure the volume of any fluid now we are going to uh, use that experiment uh, to calculate the total body water or the total body fluid now the, this is uh, this uh, this uh, lecture is just like the previous lecture but we are going to just uh, mention its use in the human body now to summarize uh, previously in the indicator dilution method uh, we discussed that in this method we take an indicator which is a dye and we put it into a fluid and that that indicator it it basically disperses into that fluid and its mass before putting it in after putting it remains the same for example it's if it's a uh, volume is 1 ml before putting it into this fluid then its volume even after putting it remains 1 ml now and we uh, with the law of conservation of mass discussed that the mass of basically indicator a before putting it into the fluid was mass a and after putting it into that fluid was mass b and mass in general is basically the combination of volume into concentration of that that substance when we put that fluid that dye the, the indicator in this fluid it dispersed so its concentration decreased its mass remained the same its mass remained the same so but the concentration decreased in in the volume and the volume of this fluid is bigger than the volume of this um, dye and that is the reason that this uh, concentrated dye it basically distributes in a bigger volume so its concentration decreases now the indicator mass b is basically also the the product of volume b and concentration b just like the mass a was the product of volume a in concentration b and by shuffling this equation volume b is basically mass by concentration mass by concentration it is just the, this is basically the shuffling of this equation instead of this indicator mass b we can instead of this indicator mass b which is basically the same indicator in this fluid we can uh, take mass uh, mass a instead of mass b we can use mass a because we we know the values of this indicator its volume its concentration so we are using this because mass b is equal to a so instead of b we can write a and then instead of writing mass a we can say the volume of um, the product of volume and concentration because mass a is the product of volume and concentration so here instead of indicator b uh, we use the volume and concentration now this is something which we discussed in detail in the last lecture now to use this uh, thing this experiment this is indication dilution indicator dilution method to measure the total body um, water what we do is that we take a da, an indicator we take it an indicator and we inject that indicator into the body in the human body now the indicator must have the quality to uh to properly uh, to properly distribute in the total body fluid now this indicator is injected into the body and it has the quality to distribute equally into all the body fluids it basically is distributed distributed into the plasma it is also present in the interstitial fluid and it is also present inside the cells so it has basically distributed equally just like this indicator distributed equally here after being put here into this fluid so the indicators that are used to measure the total body water are basically the radioactive water or heavy water or antipyrin so these substances these substances have the uh, qualities to properly distribute and they uh, they will basically not be going out of the system these substances they, that are used to measure the total body water they will uh, properly distribute they will not be metabolized and they will not go out of the system so they basically fulfill all the all the criteria for an indicator to be used as a measure as a method to calculate the volume now this indicator is just like this indicator but you see instead of uh, this fluid we have all the body fluids now we know the volume of this indicator which may be either radioactive water or heavy water or antipyrin we know its volume we know its mass we know its concentration now we don't know the amount of fluid in the body we don't know but we know the mass the concentration the volume of this fluid this radioactive water this heavy water or this antipyrin whatever substance we are using it as an indicator now as we mentioned that in indication dil indicator dilution method this indicator basically gets diluted now once this indicator has been get has been diluted in the body we can basically 
take we can basically take a sample of this fluid we can take a sample of this fluid in which the concentration will be a little bit different we can take uh, this fluid a sample of this fluid after being uh, injected we can take the blood sample and we can again calculate now initially we knew the concentration now we will calculate the concentration again now initially we knew the volume of this indicator now we can determine the volume of the body uh, water by using uh, these equations so in indication is we mentioned that in the indicator dilute dilution method we take a small indicator and uh, we know the, its volume its concentration and its mass and we also know that this indicator is going to be properly distributed and its mass before injection remains the same after injection so its mass before injection remains the same after injection now by using uh, these equations and shuffling these equations and putting the values of these equations we can easily calculate the volume of uh, water in the body now suppose for example suppose for example the uh, this on this fluid this fluid was basically 1 ml this fluid was 1 ml and its concentration initially was 10 mg per ml its volume was 1 ml its concentration was 10 mg per ml and when it was injected it was properly distributed and it was not metabolized and its mass before injection remained the same after injection now we take a second sample from this uh, from the blood and we basically calculate the concentration as in this method as in this experiment we calculated uh, its concentration after injection similarly we will take a sample of fluid and we will calculate the concentration so the initial concentration of this indicator was 10 mg per ml and the, in, then the concentration of this fluid after injection is 0 0.01 mg per ml now there is a change in concentration because here this indicator was uh, very much concentrated in a small volume here the, it has distributed throughout the body so the concentration has a little bit changed when we put these values its volume here its concentration here and the concentration here again after inject after injection we will get the volume which is basically the volume b and this will be uh, the, the the volume of fluid or the volume of total body water which is present in the human body now i will just summarize it once again that to measure the, the the volume of any fluid we need to take an indicator we need to put that indicator into the that fluid the fluid which we want to determine before putting before putting the indicator we know its mass and its mass uh, remains the same after injection so its mass before injecting the fluid remains the same after injecting and we know the volume and concentration of this indicator before injecting and we know that the mass is basically the product of volume into concentration by shuffling this equation mathematically we get this equation which is basically uh, taken by putting the this uh, mass a instead of mass b because we know that mass b is equal to mass a then the product uh, basically mass is the product of volume a and concentration a so we write here the volume a and uh, concentration a and divided by the concentration b now this is basically proven with uh, the example of uh, calculating the total body water of the human body in which an indicator is taken it is injected into the body that indicator basically dilutes distributes into the whole of the body and after some time this uh, concentration is calculated again and then we put all the values here and we can calculate the the volume of all the uh, fluid in the human body now for example if the volume was 1 ml before injection and its concentration was 10 mg per ml and after injecting its concentration became changed we put all the values and suppose for example in this case this is the volume of the um, total amount of water or fluid in the human body now this is an example now this method can be used to calculate all the fluid compartments but we need to take a special indicator now to calculate the total body water we must take either the radioactive water or we must take the heavy water or we must take the antipyrins because not every indicator has all the properties because some of the indicators will not properly dilute some of the indicators will get quickly metabolized and some of uh, some of the uh, indicators they may basically have different concentration in different compartments in the intracellular compartment in the extracellular compartment in the interstitial fluid or in the plasma so before using an indicator the the indicator must satisfy 
all the terms and conditions only then can it be used to calculate the uh, fluid volume thanks a lot for watching the video